be a smooth uh, compact uh, four manifold uh, with the topological condition that B1 and B2 plus are zero um, and one for B2 plus. Uh, B2 plus, this is, came about because the U-plane integral um, or the, the integral of the Coulomb branch of the SG2 gates theory is only non-vanishing if B2 plus is smaller or equal to, to one. It seems hard to evaluate it for B2 plus is, is zero, so we'll focus on the B2 plus is, is one case. Uh, the B1 is zero uh, is more uh, um, to simplify the discussion uh, to avoid zero modes for one of the fermionic uh, fields. Okay. Um, then one of the ingredients was a lattice um, L, which corresponded to the, the second cohomology um, over the integers, and we mod out the, the torsion. Uh, we have a, a quadratic form or a bilinear form on this lattice. Um, just from the intersection of um, or uh, integration of the of the of the, the wedge product of two forms over the the four manifold. So this is uh, B, and we can extend it over the the reals. Actually, later we will if also um, uh, use complex arguments. Uh, it has a quadratic form then. Um, Q, uh, Q, uh, K is just simply B, uh, K, K, or we will write it as, as K squared. Um, then we have the following uh, piece of information. J is the, the period point. Let J be the... Period point. It's, in other words, it is the the unique self-dual two-form um, self-dual uh, two-form um, in the the forward uh, forward light cone. Since we have b two plus is equal to one, we have one positive uh, direction. So this is self. So there's also therefore only one direction, which is uh, which is self-dual. Um, so this is an element of H2 um, MR, um, and so we can say it's in the forward light cone or it is effective that it has positive uh, inner products with, uh, with curves in, in M, um, and we normalize it uh, to, uh, to be of norm uh, 1, with uh, QJ is equal to Questions about that? Feel free to ask. Yesterday, after the talk, there were a few questions about this 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 notion. But it is so we have we work on manifold with B two plus is is, is one, um, and yeah, for that for that reason, there is a unique a self dual a two form which uh, which spans this direction in H two um, M R, and um, yeah, this is then the this. Um, we call this this one the, the period point, and it depends on the on the metric because uh, J is uh, is star J. The self duality condition depends on the, the metric for the the Hodge, Hodge star. Um, J depends. Then, using this, um, this this period point, we can project um, elements of. Uh, maybe let me just write k in h, or let me say uh, k in, in l. We can project an, a k in l to a positive and a negative uh, component. 
positive and negative definite. Components K plus is B, K, J, and then uh, not times J. So this is so an A L times uh, times R. And uh, similarly for K minus, this is then uh, K minus K, K plus. Um, all right, then we set up this, uh, this U-plane um, integral. Uh, as follows, so I denote it as phi mu j, and then we could include an observable um, O. Um, and we arrived at the following expression. It's d tau, where it's d tau bar new tilde tau times the sum over fluxes or um, uh, sum over the lattice psi mu j tau tau bar and then this observable um, O. Um, so let me just recall the different elements. New tilde of, of tau was d um, sorry d a d tau and then a u times to the power of the Euler number of, of m. These are the, the curvature couplings. And then there is a term bu to the power of the signature of m. So, um, I think other lectures were using here the e, e of m, but I used the k. Um, and then the sum over, over fluxes psi uh, mu j tau tau bar reads the sum over k in the lattice, possibly shifted by a half lattice um, element. Um, actually, the whole thing is multiplied by 1 divided by the square root of, of y. y is the imaginary part of tau. Um, then we get a sign minus 1 to the b Okay, I will say a bit more about all the ingredients I haven't discussed before in a minute. Let me just finish this expression. Um, the bilinear form B, the KJ, then we get Q, which couples to the negative definite components of K, and Q bar couples to the positive definite components of, of K. Very, very good. Um, I'll get there in a second. First, I'll say something about mu. Uh, mu lies in L divided by 2, a half lattice um, element. Then the capital K. Um, for a complex manifold, one can take the, the canonical class. More generally, it is an integral lift of the second Stiefel Whitney class. W to um, M to the lattice L. Um, y is the imaginary part of tau, I already mentioned. And um, just recall the, the, pos the, the topological observ observables we discussed yesterday. We can take for O the, the point class, which corresponds to 2 times this uh, observable U, which was a trace of, of phi squared. We can also exponentiate it e to the uh, 2pu 
um, where then P will be a form of a fugacity for this uh, for this uh, this point class. P a fugacity for um, the, the point observable. Um, and so another class of observables was I minus um, X. This, this minus sign will maybe be, become apparent a bit, bit later, uh, but this, uh, this, this is a surface observable, and so X is a, is a, is a two cycle in the, in the manifold M. X in H2, M, Z. So this is a Q closed. Any questions? Okay, so our our task today is to to evaluate this uh, this this U plane um, integral, and so let me give a little intermezzo of uh, about modularity and, and modular forms before returning to this uh, this uh, this integral. So what's, maybe I'll leave the integral for the moment. So just to, to introduce some, some notation and some, uh, some modular um, objects, let me start by recalling the, the modular group SL2Z, which is the, simply the group of integer uh, matrices A, B, C, and D in Z, such that the determinant is equal to, uh, to 1, um, and then a modular form Is a function f of um, is a function f from the upper half plane h to c uh, such that f of a tau plus b divided by c tau plus d is equal to c tau plus d to the power w, and then it, it gives back the uh, function by by itself, <coughs> and this W is the the weight. W the weight F. Um, <coughs> all right. So this the, the classic definition of a of a modular form. It's a uh, yeah. In a sense, it's very su it's uh, quite surprising in the, that there are even examples, especially holomorphic ones, because it's, it's a strong condition on the, on the functions. But examples um, exist. And um, so typically the examples have an even, an even weight w if you don't want any addition, if you want to satisfy this uh, equation on the, on the nose. If you uh, allow <coughs> complex phases, you, you can get some more interesting uh, examples. Uh, for example, the dedicant eta function um, eta has weight, w is, is one half, uh, and it's defined as, as follows, eta of tau is q to the one over 24 product n is one to infinity, one minus q to the n, and it has weight um, w is one half. Um, it transforms into SL to Z, but it, it will pick up some extra phases compared to this, uh, this, this formula. Um, all right. Um, to get more interesting examples, we should also look at uh, congruent subgroups. So we'll just um, mention one of them. It's are noted by gamma upper zero N. And this is the, the subgroup of SL to Z 
which is uh, just the elements of SL2Z. Um, but with B is equal to zero modulo four, or zero, uh, B is zero modulo n. Um, so in particular, NS4 will be uh, important uh, for us. But maybe for completeness, let me mention one, one other one, namely gamma, gamma N, which is, um, which is a subgroup of, of this one, in fact, A, B, C, D, in SL, to Z, uh, such that A, B, C, D is equal to the Identity matrix uh, modulo and okay. Um, okay, so since it's a subgroup of the full modular group, there we have more um, examples. And in particular, the Jacobi uh, theta series um, are modular forms for uh, gamma two. Our weight one half modular forms for gamma two. And I just recall the the definition delta two tau is equal to the sum over r in the half integers q to the r squared over two. Theta three is basically the same thing except that we take a sum over integers and in z q n squared over two and theta four uh, tau is equal to the same thing as, as theta three, but then with a minus one uh, inserted, minus one to the n, q to the n squared over two. Okay. And yeah, one, one thing you see is <coughs> that uh, uh, modular forms have a, have a Fourier expansion uh, just because of the, you can have one, one, zero, and then an, an, uh, uh, one here, that transformation implies that they have a free expansion and often the coefficients have interesting arithmetic um, information. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Okay, so these are some of the, the modular forms which are useful for the following. Um, and as the title suggests, you also need some mock modular forms. Um, this is a generalization of the, the theory of modular forms, uh, which I will just um, explain uh, by giving two examples, uh, mock modular forms. Um, so this subject of mock modular forms, for those who don't know, that goes back to the 20s uh, by the Indian mathematician Rabanujan was looking at some Q series which were different from the, the classical modular forms. Um, and there were some open open ends which finally got resolved in the, the, the 2000s by Swagers and, uh, and Sagier. Um, so one of the type of, of Q series uh, people uh, discover is the following function f of tau, which reads as follows, it's minus one, divided by theta four of, of tau, and then a sum over integers n and z, and we get then a bit more complicated expression, minus one to the n, q to the one half n squared minus one divided by eight, and the denominator one minus q to the n minus uh, one half. One, one can expand this um, quite easily using a 
computer, we want to get the following uh, series q to the 3 over 8, and then 1 plus 3 times q, 1 half plus 7q, um, etc. Um, <coughs> and in fact, it's one of the q series uh, which appears in, in Umbral uh, Moonshine. Uh, a paper by uh, Cheng, uh, Duncan, and, uh, and Hart. Okay, so this yeah is a is a more complicated uh, function, and it's. And it does not transform as a modular form. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it does. Main statement is it does not transform as a modular form, but we can quite easily modify it to a function which does transform as a modular form. So, f tau uh, does not uh, transform as a modular form. However, the following function uh, does. We consider the so-called completion f hat of tau. Um, f hat of tau and tau bar. This is a, a non-holomorphic uh, function. And on the right-hand side, we, we get the holomorphic part f of tau plus an additional uh, term, which reads as follows, minus i over 2. And then an integral from minus tau bar to i infinity, um, then the uh, dedicant eta function to the power 3, and the square root of minus i w plus tau dw. Okay, so it's, we, we add this, this so-called period integral to it. Uh, although it's yeah, it's not quite an integral over over a period, in the arg in the the integrand is the dedicant uh, eta function we had on the board a minute ago, and then there is an additional uh, factor, and one can show that if you do a modular transformation, that this uh, this function uh, spits out a similar integral, it is it transforms back to the this function, uh, but it transforms with a shift. It spits out uh, an integral similar to this one. Uh, which is then actually a period integral. It goes from, say, 0 to i infinity if you do the tau to minus 1 over uh, tau uh, transformation. So then the, the claim is, is that this, this holomorphic part um, kind of absorbs that, that shift, and then this, this whole thing transforms as a modular uh, form. So this function f hat uh, does transform as a weight. Uh, one half modular form for uh, gamma zero form. Okay. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm not going to derive this. You have to uh, believe me. And if we take the tau bar. Uh, derivative of this um, f hat tau tau bar, uh, then we see that we get no contribution from f, uh, but we um, we just act on the, the period integral, and we get minus i divided by two um, square root of two y times the complex conjugate of tau uh, cubed. Let me give one more example, which is related to uh, to this one. Um, second example is the function, which is denoted in the literature for specific reasons as h and then super two, 
of tau, and it reads, uh, we can express it in terms of f tau, in fact, 24 times f tau. And then there is a term which is actually a, a modular form theta 2 to the 4 tau uh, plus, sorry, this, this 2 comes um, outside, uh, theta 3 to the 4 of tau divided by eta tau cubed. And if you make a, a series expansion, this reads as 2 q to the minus 1 over 8 and minus 1 plus 45 q plus 231 q squared, etc. And uh, people may recognize this as the, the famous modular form which gives the dimensions of Arabs of the, um, of the Mathieu Munchen uh, group. So this, are, um, so this appeared in the context of, of Mathieu uh, Munchen, uh, following the work of Eguchi, Tassi, Oguri and Tassikawa. And then I think this, this formula appeared first in the paper by uh, the Volkar, Murti and, uh, and Saki. Sorry, that we... Yeah, there's a character of a two-dimensional theory. Yeah, that's uh, that's right. Um, yeah, it, it, on the in the sigma model with target space K3, it, uh, but it, it, it won't be very important in in, in, in this talk. But it is uh, indeed the, the case. Um, so again, this is a mock modular form, and it does not transform as itself. Uh, uh, by it as a modular form by itself, but we need to have a, add a non-holomorphic term. We can read off the non-holomorphic term by this one. If we add 24 times that uh, non-holomorphic term, then it transformed actually as a modular form for S L to, to Z. Somehow this extra term makes it transform as a modular form for S L to, to Z. Um, so maybe one uh, last thing to of this uh, intermission about modularity is that since we have these, this kind of symmetry group of the functions, we don't have to consider the functions on, uh, on the full upper half plane. We only have to consider them on a, on a fundamental domain. Domain, so if you have a, f if you consider um, H modulo the, modulo the the full uh, modular group, the classical fundamental domain people take is this uh, is symmetric around the, the vertical axis. It's the, the keyhole fundamental domain. It has uh, boundaries at, at, at minus a half and a half, and then this is part of the, the unit circle. Um, and in fact, the two boundaries are identified under the modular group, and also these two arcs are identified under the modular group, such that the only kind of open end is at the, at the top. And for the other uh, congruent subgroup, H mod uh, gamma zero four, it turns out we get uh, six, uh, six copies of this keyhole fundamental domain. And... Um, let me like this, so we get again the, the keyhole fundamental domain. But we get uh, another five five images. Ones are the are the, the horizontal uh, copies like this, and then there are two inversions: one going down to tau is equal to zero, and one going down here to tau is equal to to two. So if we go, go back to, uh, to Cyborg Witten, 
uh, theory than the, the cyber written solution basically uh, uh, gives these quantities like u and the ADU in terms of, of modular functions. We have for u of, of tau, we saw yesterday it starts with q to the uh, minus 1 over 4, but we can completely give a, a, a full uh, expansion in, 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 in tau, and this reads then uh, one, 1 half uh, theta 2 to the 4 plus theta 3 to the 4 divided by theta 2 squared, theta 3 squared. And this combination is, is invariant under gamma zero four. Invariant under gamma zero four. And just one other uh, quantity that we use is this this quantity uh, d a d u. Um, it appeared as one of these topological uh, couplings, and uh, this one uh, reads one. One half uh, times theta two, two of tau times theta uh, three of tau. Um, okay, so this is very strong that we have now an all we know u explicitly as function of, of tau. And now if we go back to the, the u plane integral. Now I can specify the integration domain because you might have noticed that when I wrote down the U-plane uh, integral that I didn't specify any uh, domain. Um, so we get, since this, this order parameter U is invariant under gamma zero four, um, we know now that we should integrate over this, uh, this fundamental uh, domain. So we are integrating over eight mod uh, gamma zero four and then d tau watch the tau bar, and then this quantity mu tilde tau times psi mu j tau uh, tau bar. Okay. All right. And for this, this integral to be, be well defined, it should actually be Invariant under the choice of, of fundamental domain. So if we if we would take yeah different a different choice of fundamental domain, uh, one should be able to show that the integrand remains the, the same, and one can in fact uh, do this using uh, yeah, using these uh, these expressions and modular transformations of this uh, psi. this the possibility of the um, observable um, and I could also mention how new tilde looks like new tilde in terms of modular functions it actually is, is quite simple it's minus i over 8 times theta 4 to the 13 minus b2 over eta to the to the 9 okay so it's quite useful if you want to, de to demonstrate that this is in fact a, a well-defined integral independent of the fundamental domain um, is a useful um, expression. But, um, any questions? So um, all right, so yeah, this this integral was evaluated by by more written for small um, for small values of b two. Say b two is one and b two is is two. Um, and yeah, also one way to, to do it is you can start from a uh, so called empty chamber and then use wall crossing um, to get to the chamber you are interested in. Okay. This quantity. Um, so this is the, the contribution um, 
yeah, to, to mention that, we have to, uh, let me draw the, the picture of the, of the U-plane. Um, the, just the plane where, where U lives, which has these three special points, I infinity and uh, lambda Q is equal to minus one and, uh, and plus one. So if you compute the full path integral, you get the delta function support from the, these strong coupling singularities. And for the manifolds with B2 plus is one, you get a contribution from the, the rest of the U-plane. So we are calculating the contribution to the, from the Coulomb branch to the full, uh, full path integral of the theory. That's it. But it only contributes for, for B2 pluses is one and, and zero. Um, right. So yeah, so that, thanks for asking the question. We see that this, these points u is minus one and u is plus one now correspond to these uh, um, uh, these two um, cusps at the bottom of at the, on the, the real axis, right. and the weak coupling is is at the I, the tau to i infinity. Okay, so. In fact, this 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 uh, this integral is an improper integral because we are. It does go all the way to to i infinity, and also if you look at the measure, there is a. It is also non-compact if you go down to the to the real axis. So what we ought to do is to uh, cut off this, um, cut off the, the, the domain at some uh, finite plus plus large uh, y, and. Then let us also, and then at the other end, we work, we cut it off at a point one over y, imaginary part of, of one over y. Right. So then we, we can uh, determine the integral on this, uh, on this compact uh, domain. Let me call it h mod comma zero four, and then with a uh, y as a subscript. And if we are lucky, we can take the limit of y to infinity without any, any issues. Okay. Sorry, on the domain, which identifications are Yeah, so the, the two sides are identified. Um, Yeah, I'm not quite sure at the, at the bottom. I imagine that this one and this one and this one and this one are, no, I imagine that this and this is identified and this and this, and this also um, over the, uh, in the in the middle. So it is, yeah, you can think of it as a, as a sphere, which then has, has kind of three cusps uh, going out uh, topologically. Any other questions? Um, all right. Okay, so to, to continue um, working with a generic, so maybe let me first include this uh, cutting of the, um, of the domain. I'll put a, put a Y here. And then the limit of y uh, to infinity. Um, okay. And now, in order to to continue um, with the evaluation, let me say something about the classification of the lattices. Classification. Of lattices with p two plus is is one. So for the let, if L is odd, this is a this is a major, yeah, a, a major topic for definite lattices, but it appears quite straightforward. If in fact, if, if you have B two plus is equal to uh, to one, uh, since if L is odd, we can decompose it as follows. It's just um, we can bring it to the diagonal form. The lattice L is unimodular for any any four manifold. Uh, and we can bring it to a di diagonal form. 
such that it takes this, this form of uh, one positive direction and then B2 minus one uh, negative directions. And if L is even, um, then L also takes a simple form. It is the, this, uh, this two-dimensional um, self-dual lattice. So this has intersection form 0, 1, 1, 0. Um, uh, plus uh, n times the, the negative E8 lattice, B2 minus 2 over 8. Uh, some number times the, the negative E8 lattice. This decomposition of the lattice, I will focus now for L odd for the just to uh, um, um, to keep, make things not too technical and and for the to stay within the in the time. Um, so now I, I pick a convenient uh, metric, pick a convenient. metric which, uh, which satisfies this or respects this uh, this decomposition. So I take uh, for this period point J um, uh, that J is equal to uh, 1 and then I take uh, B2 minus 1 uh, zeros. And in this case, our sum over fluxes psi, psi mu uh, j um, in fact uh, factorizes. So we can write it as uh, some function f little f mu 1 tau tau bar uh, times a, uh, which has all the non-holomorphic dependence uh, times a a theta function or a theta series with sums over this uh, over the negative definite part of the of the lattice. So this is a theta series L minus uh, mu minus and, uh, and tau. And this let me spell out this function f uh, mu one. So mu is just uh, the first component of this uh, of this this conjugate class uh, mu. Tau tau bar, and it's a little bit complicated. I to the um, pi i mu divided by two square root of two i times the sum over k in L plus plus mu minus one to the k minus mu uh, k, and then q bar k squared over two. And then this, uh, this second uh, theta series, theta L minus mu minus is more, more classical. It's uh, simply a sub over K minus in L minus plus mu minus minus one to the B restricted to the negative definite lattice K minus K minus Q minus K minus squared divided by two. Okay. So if we pick a convenient, a convenient metric with respect that that, that uh, standard form of the diagonal form for the odd 
uh, odd uh, letters. Um, then our, uh, our sum of flux psi uh, factorizes into two, the, two of these functions. And if you would want to, if you want to pick another uh, metric, uh, you can do so by using the wall crossing formula, uh, say starting from from this. Um, okay, so if you if you eval evaluate this this function f f mu, one gets the following f mu of tau tau bar is equal to to zero if mu is is an integer. Um, basically because of this, this term at uh, the bottom. Um, whereas if, um, if mu is a half integer, we recover the, the cubic um, eta, the dedicate eta function to the power three. Or this, oh sorry, or this, this should be, thanks for pointing that out, this should be just, uh, just set. Is that, I hope that that resolves the, the, the question. Yeah, this is just one component of the, of the lattice, does that help? And I have, uh, I have omitted the, the one subscript from all the mu's in this, this line, so it's just, uh, it's just a number here. Other questions? Um, all right. So if maybe given this this answer, people may see where this is uh, is going. We can now um, all the non-holomorphic dependence of the integrand is in this this function, and we saw in the when we discussed the mock modular forms, we had an antiderivative. Of, uh, of eta tau uh, cubed. So we can write the integrand as a derivative to, to tau bar and evaluate using uh, Stokes' theorem. Um, so we get phi mu j, let me say for an observable e to the power 2p uh, u, um, defined as the limit of y to infinity um, let me see, can I just need a little bit more space, so this is, is equal to the limit of y to in infinity, the integral of um, It's not gamma zero four, sorry, gamma zero four. Uh, y, and then we had here d tau, which d tau bar, and we had nu tilde tau, and then in this this uh, this series psi, we can write it as the the d tau bar of f hat tau tau bar times this uh, series over the negative definite lattice tau. Which is just a function of, of tau. Okay, so we can then apply a Stokes' theorem to the limit of y to infinity. Um, um, of the integral over d tau, 
in the boundary of this this domain gamma zero four y. Uh, and then we get new tilde tau f hat of uh, of tau. So since we we go to the the boundary of well, let me just tau tau bar uh, theta l minus mu minus tau. And here I still wanted to include e to the 2p surface observable e to, or point observable e to the 2p uh, u. And same thing here. And so if I continue with this, this integral, the integral of d tau over the boundary here, um, if, I, if we do first the, the cusp at an infinity, it's the integral from minus a half to, to three and a half. Um, so this will just pick up the, the constant term in, in tau, or actually four times the constant term because the interval has length, uh, length four. So we get that this is equal to the limit of y to infinity. Uh, four times the, the constant term of mu tilde tau f hat tau. And now let me write the tau bar in terms of tau uh, and uh, capital Y because that's where the, the cusp at, at infinity is. So I write it as tau minus two times I Y. Um, and then theta L minus mu minus tau e to the two P. And the, the constant term of this one, which I denote by the, the term q to the, the zero. And there are two more contributions from the, the other two cusps, um, which let me just abbreviate it here as sending tau to minus one over tau. Uh, and for the other one, it is sending tau to two times tau minus one over tau. And all the q to the zero. Right. And now, as a as a final step, if you if you take this, we see that the only capital Y dependence, in the sense, is is sitting here in this this non-holomorphic part of this mock modular form. Um, in fact, that that part is is subleading. If you take this limit Y to infinity, keeping uh, tau fixed. Um, then that period integral disappears and you're just left with the, with the holomorphic uh, part. Uh, so we can take this, this limit y to infinity um, and just write and, and, and just take the holomorphic terms in the, in the bracket. So we get mu tilde tau times f tau times theta l minus mu minus tau e to the uh, 2 pu. Sorry. Uh, the constant term of this, um, and then we have the, the contributions from the other two uh, cusps, tau to minus one over tau to the zero plus um, tau to two tau minus one divided by tau. Um, so, in, in fact, if we, if we take a, a simple example of, of, uh, of, say, P2, which says P2 is equal to, to 1, then you, one reproduces the, the Donson invariance uh, determined by, uh, by Lothar. And in fact, I think his expre the expression is actually quite similar to, uh, to his expression. Although he computed it, I think, using war crossing, starting from the Hitchable surface um, and then blowing, uh, blowing down. Um, we also see it is actually quite, 
uh, universal expression because in, in fact we had a, a power here of new tilde to the power 13 minus b2 uh, theta 4 and in fact we get theta f this this one can be expressed as a power of, of theta force so in fact this the theta force of this one is actually cancelling the ones of this one and then it appears actually to be uh, quite a universal answer for the u plane integral for manifolds with an odd uh, intersection form uh, but otherwise leaving b2 uh, arbitrary so um, yeah, but if, uh, you, you can, in this way, evaluate it for arbitrary uh, smooth manifolds uh, with P2 plus is equal to 1, B1 is equal to uh, 0. Um, okay. mm. Are there any, any questions? Um, so maybe let me make a, a couple of comments if you want to include the, the surface observables. So if we want to include the, the surface observables, um, e to the i minus x plus i plus um, x. So I I'm including a, this, this is the, the Q, Q closed surface observables which couples to the negative, to the anti-self-dual part of the connection if you go to the IR. Um, and somehow if you want to connect to, to expressions in the language, in the, the literature of mock modular forms, it is most natural to include also a, a Q exact observable, Q exact observable. Uh, which couples to the positive definite part. Um, um, and then the U-plane integral takes the, basically what, the, what this amounts to, if you, if you include this, is that the sum over flux is psi mu j tau tau bar um, is replaced by, a, a will include also um, um, elliptic variables. So we got psi mu j tau tau bar and the row and the row bar where rho is an element of L tensor uh, C and it is explicitly written as um, as x divided by 2 pi times du uh, dA. Okay, so this is determined in terms of this uh, two cycle x and it is multiplied by this combination du dA, which makes it transform effectively with a weight uh, minus one, which is then a Jacobi uh, variable. And then one can also basically run the same uh, game, um, but then using Oppel Lerch sums rather than these uh, mock modular uh, forms. can be determined. Um, maybe one thing I should add is that this Q exact operator was was a bit subtle. We uh, run into a, a problem with um, calculating the, the one point function of this observable using the regularization I was using in this talk. And we had to uh, develop a new regularization including counter terms to um, cancel the infinities which, uh, which showed up. But all that uh, can, be, uh, can be done. So it is a good observable to, uh, to include, um, especially if you want to, to match to the kind of to the, the literature on, on upper large sums in the, the modular form uh, literature. Um. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we have um, seen that we can very explicitly evaluate this U-plane integral now for the for SU2, pure SU2 uh, gates theory. And we hope this helps maybe to also evaluate similar integrals for theories with other uh, more complicated uh, Coulomb branches. Thank you for your attention.